sisters, and to each and every one of us, we would like to welcome you to the most awaited day of the Catholic community here in Bahrain. We would like also to welcome Cardinal Ayuso, the representative of the Holy See, and the rest of the team, bishops and priests from other parishes of Apostolic Vicariate of Northern Arabia and Southern Arabia. We also would like to welcome all the people from the different parishes of Avona. We also would like to acknowledge the presence of the family of Bishop Alec Aldo, all the way from Italy and France, and all the family of different Catholic community here in Bahrain. Praised be God the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and honor to His Blessed Mother for the wonderful gift of the bishophood with which Monsignor Aldo Barardi have been bestowed. Today is the day of celebration, as the bishop-elect will take his oath of episcopacy. At this point in time, we would like to call the attention of all the attendees of today's event to please turn all the mobiles off so we will not be disturbed during the celebration as this event is momentous and to preserve the solemnity of the event. We also encourage those who would like to go to the restrooms before the celebration starts to avoid disturbing others. Once again, we would like to call the attention of all the attendees of today's event to please turn off all your mobile phones so we will not disturb during the celebration as this event is momentous and to preserve the solemnity of the celebration. We also encourage everyone to please go to the restrooms before the celebration starts to avoid disturbing others as we are about to start the celebration in few moments. We would like to remind everyone to kindly not litter and throw waste anywhere as we are maintaining the cleanliness of the cathedral. Once again, I would like to remind everyone to kindly not litter and throw waste anywhere as we are maintaining the cleanliness of the cathedral. We invite everyone to have a moment of silence to pray for the ordination of Bishop-elect Monsignor Aldo.
Brothers and sisters, let us now rise for the entrance hymn.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, we invite you to kindly take your seat as we will hear the welcome address of His Excellency, Bishop Paul Hinder. Welcome to all of you on this special occasion of the Episcopal ordination of Monsignore Aldo Berardi. We are happy to greet all of you in our midst, especially, of course, His Eminence Miguel Angel Cardinal Ayuso, Prefect of the Dicastery for Interreligious Dialogue, who will preside over this celebration and be the main consecrator. Welcome to His Grace Archbishop Eugen Nugent, Apostolic Nuncio to Kuwait, Bahrain, and Qatar. Welcome to Their Excellencies Bishop Paolo Martinelli, Apostolic Vicar of Southern Arabia, Bishop Claudio Lurati, Apostolic Vicar of Alexandria in Egypt, Welcome to Bishop Jean-Pierre Villemin, Auxiliary Bishop of Metz, diocese in which Bishop-elect Aldo Berardi has grown up. Welcome to Bishop Joseph Naffa, Patriarchal Visitator for the Maronites in the Arabian Gulf. Welcome to the representatives of the different religious congregations living in this part of the world partly residing here in Bahrain or in other uh, countries of the Vicariate. Especially, I greet the General Superior of the Order of the Most Holy Trinity to which the Bishop-elect belongs, the Custos of the Capuchins in Arabia, the representative of the Comboni missionaries to whom uh, Bishop Camillo Balin belonged. This cathedral was his dream. Unfortunately, he couldn't uh, see anymore the fulfillment of his dream, but I think he will today look from heaven with particular joy that one who has served him also will be ordained bishop. Welcome to the representatives of other Christian churches here in this region. Welcome also to the representatives of the civil authorities and uh, distinguished uh, excellences from embassies and other entities. Welcome to the relatives and friends of Father Aldo who have come from different corners of the world. Soyez les bienvenus, ceux qui vivent en France, ceux qui vivent au Canada, sentez-vous à votre maison ici à Bahrain. Welcome to all the priests and laity of this vicariate and of the vicariate of Southern Arabia. We are celebrating in this beautiful cathedral dedicated to Our Lady of Arabia and for which the land has been given by the generosity of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al Khalifa, King of Bahrain. And we express our gratitude to His Majesty, the royal family, and the government of the Kingdom of Bahrain. And when we are praying for the church and the world, of course, we are always including in a particular way the government here in Bahrain. I'm happy to welcome, of course, the candidate who will be ordained bishop today, whom I know since many years when I had to deal with him and his superiors for the work in the vicariate. We have discussed many things together at that time, 
when he had worked in a country where it is not easy to be a witness for Jesus Christ. Today, dear Aldo, you will be ordained for a special mission and be assured of our solidarity in prayer and our moral support. May I ask you now, His uh, Eminence, to continue with the celebration. Thank you. Before we proceed to the next part of the celebration, we welcome Father Saji Thomas, OFM Cup, and the Cathedral of Our Lady of Arabia team to give and endorse the door key of the cathedral to Bishop-elect Aldo as he will about to take his oath of episcopacy. Monsignor Aldo Berardi, in a few minutes, this cathedral will be yours. I am Father Saji Thomas, OIFM Cap, in charge of the cathedral of Our Lady of Arabia, and so are the keys of the cathedral to you. At this point, we will hear a few words about Bishop-elect Aldo coming from one of the Catholic faithful. His Eminence, Miguel Angel Cardinal Ayuso, His Grace, Archbishop Eugene Martin Nugent, His Excellency, Bishop Paul Hinder, Monsignor Aldo Berardi, Respectable Bishops, Reverend Priests and Nuns, Honorable Guests, Brothers and Sisters, Today is an exceptional day in the Vic Vicariate of Northern Arabia, a day that will be marked in history and in the timeline of the Cathedral of Our Lady of Arabia, and etched in the lives of all those present here to witness the Episcopal ordination of the new Bishop-elect, Monsignor Aldo Berardi, OSST, Apostolic Vicar of Northern Arabia. This new appointment is in succession to the late Bishop Camilo Balin, MCCJ, the previous Apostolic Vicar of Northern Arabia, who made it possible to construct and complete one of the largest cathedrals in the Gulf. May his peaceful and loving soul rest in eternal peace. We are confident and assured that Bishop Camilo is overjoyed and is sending us his prayers from heaven above. It is also imperative to thank and acknowledge His Excellency Paul Hinder, OFAB Cap, Vicar Apostolic Emeritus of the Apostolic Vicariate of Southern Arabia, who has been there during the transition period before electing Monsignor Aldo Berardi to take up this new responsibility. Who would have known that the young boy born in longueville les -Mais, France, almost 60 years ago, would reach such a lovely milestone in his life. And this step is only the beginning of the life of such a warm-hearted, welcoming, caring, and passionate individual who is walking on the path to holiness. 
The story of young Aldo Berardi started in 1979 at the age of 16, when he entered the Foyer Seminaire in montigny les mai and completed his studies in Georges de la Tour. He continued to excel in his educational life by studying philosophy and then theology during the period from 1982 to 1986. At the age of 23, young Aldo entered the novitiate of the Trinitarian Fathers in Savoie, France, and made his first religious profession in October 87. The young boy continued to grow in wisdom, in understanding, in faith, and in love. It is easy for me to speak about Monsignor Aldo's life, where he studied, what degrees he earned, where he served. All of this is available on the social media and other online resources. But this will only give you a general and superficial idea and feeling of who he really is. You need to know him in person and speak to him like many of us did, who cherish and feel blessed with his presence amongst us. But who is Père Aldo, or as we may now call him in French, Père Évêque, which means Father Bishop? Because that is what he really is, a fatherly figure and a leader at the same time. Allow me to take a few moments of your time to show you the true character and nature of Père Évêque. From the first day of his vocation, Père Aldo has accepted this message from God and allowed the Holy Spirit to take full control of his life and move forward. He has been a man of obedience and placed God in the highest ranks in his life. Just like Saint Joseph, who has silently welcomed our Blessed Virgin Mary and our Lord Jesus Christ, thus becoming the Holy Family the family of Nazareth. He has always been a man of prayer who states that the best way to pray is to pray in silence and from your heart without being boastful or conceited. He is a man of courage who has been able to step out of his comfort zone and walk on the various paths without complaining but continuing to pray earnestly towards the success of the missions entrusted to him. While serving in Caritas Rome in the early 90s, his focus was towards the less fortunate and the poor, and has always been a great support to those in need. Not only is his love and dedication driven to the poor, but also to the youth and those who are mentally ill especially during his service in the Spirituality Center in Sœur France. A great piece of his heart is taken up by those young and vibrant souls who need someone to motivate and lead them. He continues to say that the youth are the future of our church, and it is extremely important to listen to their needs and show them love. During his service in Cairo, he directed the Centre Saint Bachita that sheltered Sudanese refugees. This mission shows a different character of Père Évêque, the need to assist and free those in captivity and slavery. This will continue even with the new responsibilities assigned to him, as he believes that all men and women should be free and be able to earn a decent living. While in Cairo, he was able to improve his Arabic language, and this helped him greatly while he was serving in the Sacred Heart Church, in particular in the Arabic and French-speaking communities during 2007 and 2010, who did not have a residing priest that spoke these languages at that time. Père Revec was able to assist the communities in fully participating in each Eucharistic celebration. He has also eliminated the language barrier for those who are not fluent in English. On a personal level, I remember being very close to Père Évêque and commenting on the way he says, which means in Arabic, the Lord be with you, in his francophone accent, 
which brings a smile to his face. Everyone who met Perivec loved him and were able to see his genuineness. He continued his mission by being close to the youth and gathered them around the altar, attending masses more frequently and speaking to them in their youthful language. He does not know how to scold or point fingers, but rather explain the right ways in the simplest manner. His responsibilities grew even further with his assignment as the provincial counselor for his congregation. With this mission, he was able to show us his diplomat side and being a man of society, an ability to continue working on the path that God is leading him on, with courage and full of faith, especially while being in the parish of St. Rita. Returning to Avona was a stepping stone to this new role that we are celebrating this morning, a well-deserved role for a religious and holy individual like Père Evesque. I am sure that Père Evesque will not change his true nature and character and will remain as the good shepherd that His Holiness Pope Francis has appointed to lead the flock in this region on the right path. His focus will continue to be in uniting the faithful and listening to their needs, opening his hands to accept us all. With this being said, I present to you our Père Evesque, our new Bishop-elect, Monsignor Aldo Berardi, OSST. We will now arrive to the presentation of the bishop-elect and reading of the apostolic letter. The very Reverend Father Andrew OSST will present now Bishop-elect Aldo Berardi to the Cardinal as the representative of the Holy See and request his ordination to the Episcopal ordination. The apostolic letter of Pope Francis will be authenticated by Cardinal Ayuso, bishops and priests, and show to the people and will be read for everyone by Father Anthony Lopez, OFM Cup. Most Reverend Father, the Church of the Apostolic Vicariate of Northern Arabia asks you to ordain this priest, Aldo Berardi, to the responsibility of the Episcopate. Have you a mandate from the Apostolic See? We have. Let it be read.
Francis, Bishop of Rome, servant of the servants of God, to his beloved son, Aldo Berardi, of the order of the Most Holy Trinity for the redemption of captives, the appointed apostolic vicar of Northern Arabia, health and blessing. The Church gratefully accepts and lovingly preserves the entire deposit of revelation, treating it with religious respect and fulfilling her mission of authentically interpreting God's law in the light of the Gospel. St. John Paul II, Veritatis Splendor, Number 45 and assiduously preaches the word of God to all her children, explaining it to them with great affection. In order to ensure that this salvific mission always progresses uninterruptedly, sustained by divine grace, I endeavor to establish diligent shepherds everywhere in the world. That is why I now direct my attention to the community of the Apostolic Vicariate of Northern Arabia, which, after the pious passing of our venerable brother Camillo Balin, MCCJ, lacks a shepherd for its sanctification. I have decided to appoint you to this task, beloved son, who excel for your lively faith, prudent mind, and other virtues. Therefore, having considered the advice of the Dicastery for Evangelization by my apostolic authority, I appoint you apostolic vicar of Northern Arabia with all the rights and duties inherent to this office according to canon law. You may receive the Episcopal ordination anywhere outside Rome and by any Catholic prelate, provided the liturgical norms are observed. But first, as established by the law of the Church, you must solemnly and duly make your profession of faith and take the oath of fidelity towards me and my successors in this sea. You will see to it that this letter of mine is made known to the clergy and people of this community whom I affectionately urge to constantly offer you esteem, affection, and diligent cooperation. Finally, I wish that with the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, our, Law, our Lady of Arabia, and Saint Joseph, her spouse, you might serve with solitude the community entrusted to you, sustained by hope in our Lord, given in Rome at the Lateran on 28th January 2023, the 10th year of my pontificate, Francis.
Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that by St. Joseph, Saint Joseph's intercession, your Church may constantly watch over the unfolding of the mysteries of human salvation, whose beginnings you entrusted to his faithful care. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. قراءة من سفر صاموئيل الثاني في تلك الأيام كان كلام الرب إلى ناتان قائلا اذهب وقل لعبدي داود هكذا يقول الرب أأنت تبني لي بيتا لسكناي وإذا تمت أيامك واتجعت مع آبائك وأقمت من يليك من نسلك الذي يخرج من صلبك وأقررت ملكه فهو يبني بيتا لاسمي وأنا أقر عرش ملكه إلى الأبد أنا أكون له أبا وهو يكون لي ابنا ويكون بيتك وملكك ثابتين إلى الدهر أمام وجهك وعرشك يكون راسخا إلى الأبد The word of the Lord The Son of David will live forever. The Son of David will live forever. The promises of the Lord I will see. For you have said, my kindness is established forever. In heaven you have confirmed your faithfulness. chosen one I have sworn to David my servant forever will I confirm your posterity and establish your throne for all generations say of me you are my father my God the rock my savior forever I will maintain my kindness toward him and my covenant with him stands firm
Lecture de la lettre de saint Paul apôtre aux Romains Frères, ce n'est pas en vertu de la loi que la promesse de recevoir le monde en héritage a été faite à Abraham et à sa descendance, mais en vertu de la justice obtenue par la foi. Voilà pourquoi on détient héritier par la foi, c'est une grâce. Et la promesse demeure ferme pour tous les descendants d'Abraham, non pour ceux qui se rattachent à la loi seulement, mais pour ceux qui se rattachent aussi à la foi d'Abraham, lui qui est notre Père à tous. C'est bien ce qui est écrit. « J'ai fait de toi le Père d'un grand nombre de nations. Il est notre Père devant Dieu, en qui il a cru. » Dieu qui donne la vie aux morts et qui appelle à l'existence ce qui n'existe pas, espérant contre toute espérance, il a cru. Ainsi est-il devenu le père d'un grand nombre de nations, selon cette parole. Telle sera la descendance que tu auras. Et voilà pourquoi, il lui fut accordé d'être juste. Parole du Seigneur. Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Each year, Jesus' parents went to Jerusalem for the feast of Passover. And when he was 12 years old, they went up according to festival custom. After they had completed its days, as they were returning, 
the boy Jesus remained behind in Jerusalem, but his parents did not know it. Thinking that he was in the caravan, they journeyed for a day and looked for him among their relatives and acquaintances, but not finding him, they returned to Jerusalem to look for him. After three days, they found him in the temple, sitting in the midst of the teachers, listening to them and asking them questions, and all who heard him were astounded at his understanding and his answers. When his parents saw him, they were astonished, and his mother said to him, Son, why have you done this to us? Your father and I have been looking for you with great anxiety. And he said to them, Why were you looking for me? Did you not know that I must be in my father's house? But they did not understand what he said to them. He went down with them and came to Nazareth and was obedient to them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Your Excellencies, distinguished authorities, dear Monsignor Aldo, dear brothers in the priesthood and religious brothers and sisters, dear brothers and sisters in Christ. It is a special joy to me to, pre to preside over the Episcopal ordination of Monsignor Aldo Berardi, whom His Holiness Pope Francis has appointed as Apostolic Vicar of Northern Arabia. I am grateful for the presence of the consecrators, the co-consecrators, His Grace Archbishop Eugene Martin Nugent, Apostolic Nuncio, and His Excellency Bishop Paul Hinder, Apostolic Administrator. It is, brothers and sisters, it is a time of great joy for all of us who have come together here in this cathedral today. But for you, Monsignor Aldo, it is a time of gratitude for all the blessings which God has granted you over the years. Today, you are surrounded by some members of your family pour lesquels nous sommes vraiment très heureux et que nous prions afin que Dieu vraiment 
vous bénisse hein, pour ces dons que votre famille donne à l'Église de Dieu. You are surrounded not only by your family members, but also by your friends, by your brothers and sisters, and the priests and other religious members of this local church of the Apostolic Vicariate of Northern Arabia. Monsignor, although you have served this church as parish priest and episcopal vicar, here you have spent your priestly ministry and you also bring to the joy of this day your years of studying in Rome and your considerable experience as director of the center Sainte Bajita in Cairo, Egypt, which shelters Sudanese refugees, as well as your service as Vicar General of the Order of the Holy Trinity for the Redemption of Captives, best known as Trinitarian Fathers. This is a precious store of knowledge and experience from which you can draw as you strive to carry out your work with wisdom, competence, and prudence. And now you are called to, to return all of this to God and serve him in a new way and with greater responsibility. Today, you will be consecrated to be a successor of the apostles, a herald of the gospel, and a shepherd of Christ's flock, with the special duty of representing the vicar of Christ in his concern for the church in the entire world, yes, in his care for the entire human family. As you know, the rich symbolism of the rite of ordination eloquently speaks of the continuity of the church faith and life throughout the centuries through the imposition of hands, through the invoking of the Holy Spirit, you will be welcome to the College of Bishops. And this college perpetuates for all ages the service of the apostles to whom the Lord Jesus entrusted the care of his flock. So you, Monsignor Aldo, will become a link, a link in a living chain which goes back uninterrupted to Jesus himself and will continue till the end of time according to his promise. It will be your duty to preach the gospel of salvation integrally, to take care of strengthening the church community in faith and by the celebration of the sacraments to work for the flourishing of the kingdom of Christ in truth and life, holiness and mercy, love and peace. I would like to remind all of us of some words of Pope Francis on occasion of his apostolic journey here in Bahrain during a prayer meeting with this local church at the Sacred Heart Church in Manama he said 
allow me then to focus briefly on three great gifts that the Holy Spirit grants us and asks us to receive and to reflect in our lives. Joy, unity, and prophecy. And I think, dear Monsignor Aldo, that today these three great gifts of the Holy Spirit shared by the Holy Father here with this church are directed in a special way to you who are called to shepherd the flock of our Lord with apostolic authority. It is meaningful that the new bishop receives the ring during the rite of ordination, the symbol of his unconditional love for the Lord and his church before receiving the crozier, the symbol of his pastoral authority. Pope Francis reminded us that it is the shepherd's task to go before the flock and its guide, but also to, to walk with the flock as a disciple, to listen to its voice as, and sense where the Holy Spirit, the source of every gift and mission, wants to lead it. St. Augustine said once, for you I am a shepherd, but with you I am a Christian. Monsignor Aldo, in unity with the Church of this country and the countries of this apostolic vicariate, you will be called to proclaim in word and example a gospel of reconciliation, forgiveness, and mercy. And in a special way, you will also be called to support the Christian community, a small flock which nonetheless is very dear to God. Please, Monsignor Aldo, confirm them in their faith and in their loyalty to the great commandment of loving God and the neighbor. Because in this way, you will perform your mission which you receive today. During my dear brother Aldo, during my Episcopal ordination, just exactly like today, seven years ago, I received from Pope Francis a great suggestion that I desire to share with you. He called on bishops to really look at the faithful, not obliquely, not obliquely, but to look at them in the eye so that we can see them with the heart. Seeing others with the heart is a sign of the strength of the spirit and fosters a capacity for concern, for compassion, for genuine, for genuine openness to them and also to love our brothers and sisters belonging to other religious traditions. Dear Monsignor Aldo, I am confident that following in the footsteps of St. Juan de Mata, the founder of your order of the Trinitarian Fathers, you will be particularly dedicated to bringing God's love, peace, and mercy to all. The Lenten season urges us to lift 
our gaze to the crucified Christ, in whom we readily see reflected the faces and stories of so many of our brothers and sisters who are victims of violence. And once more, with the insistence of children inspired by our faith in Jesus Christ, let us implore the gift of peace and renew our resolve to be credible witnesses of hope in the God who raised his son from the dead. Now that you are preparing for your ordination and your new responsibilities, know that you can rely on the mercy that this sacrament holds on the confidence and prayers of the Holy Father and on your own prayer, friendship and support. For all of us gathered here in this cathedral today, and particularly for you, dear Monsignor Aldo, this celebration is an opportunity for blessing and thanking God for the late Bishop Camillo Baldi. Also, a friend of mine, as a member of the Comboni missionaries, and I remember that he always said that it is important for Christians to witness to the love of God wherever they are. And he said once, I want to continue what I am doing to serve God and my congregation until I retire after another bishop is appointed. Even then, I will continue to be a missionary of God all my life. Let me say, dear Monsignor Aldo, that we are also very grateful to His Excellency Bishop Paul Hinde, Bishop, Bishop Emeritus of the Apostolic Vicariate of Southern Arabia, who has been till now Apostolic Administrator of the Vicariate of Northern Arabia, and wish him every blessing in the future. And I would like to extend my greeting to His Excellency Bishop Paolo Martinelli, appointed as the Apostolic Vicar of Southern Arabia, because I am sure that the two vicariates will grow further in collaboration and fraternity. Dear Monsignor Aldo, we commend you and your ministry to the protection of St. Joseph. Dear brothers and sisters, whenever we feel saddened or dismayed, let us think of the faith of St. Joseph. If anxiety threatens our serenity, let us think of the hope of St. Joseph. If uncertainty grips our heart, let us think of the love of St. Joseph. Because by imitating his docility, may we bear good fruits in sincerity, fidelity, patient honesty, quiet industriousness, and generosity in serving others. May Our Lady of Arabia and Saints Juan de Mata and Joseph bless you and always support you so that you may bear rich fruits from the ministry 
that is about to be entrusted to you. We ask this through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, forever and ever. Brothers and sisters, we now proceed to the ordination proper. Promise of the elect. Cardinal Ayuso now questions the bishop-elect in the presence of the people on his resolve and promise to uphold the faith and to discharge his duty. The bishop-elect prostrates himself as the litany is sung. Laying of the hands, this ancient gesture which expresses the outpouring of the Holy Spirit is the heart of the ordination rite. Cardinal Ayuso imposes his hands upon the head of Bishop Elec Aldo as co-consecrators Bishop Paul and Bishop Eugene Martin join in this gesture as do all the bishops. The book of the gospel is placed over the head of the bishop-elect as a sign of the power of God's word over us. The bishops now join in the prayer of ordination. This prayer has been in use for the ordination of bishops since the beginning of the third century. It invokes the power of the Holy Spirit upon the newly ordained and recalls the importance and role of the bishop within the church community. Anointing. The head of the new bishop is anointed with sacred chrism, signifying the full share in the priesthood of Christ he has received through laying of hands and the prayer of ordination. The book of gospel is now presented as a symbol of the bishop's ministry of preaching and teaching. The ring symbolizes the bishop's fidelity to the bride of God, the church. The mitre signifies the bishop's resolve to pursue holiness. The crosses signifies his duty of guiding and governing the church entrusted to his care. We now invite everyone to kindly rise as the chorus sings the Veni Creator and pray for Bishop Elect Aldo, whom God has chosen to provide for the needs of the church.
the ancient rule of the Holy Fathers ordains that a bishop elect is to be questioned in the presence of the people on his resolve to uphold the faith and to discharge his duty. And so, dear brother Aldo, do you resolve by the grace of the Holy Spirit in discharge until death the office entrusted to you by the apostles which we are about to pass on to you by the laying on of our hands. I do. Do you resolve to preach the gospel of Christ with constancy and fidelity? I do. Do you resolve to guard the deposit of faith entire and incorrupt as handed down by the apostles and preserved in the church everywhere and at all times? I do. Do you resolve to build up the body of Christ, his church, and to remain in the unity of that body together with the order of bishops under the authority of the successor of St. Peter the Apostle? I do. Do you resolve to render obedience faithfully to the successor of the blessed Apostle Peter? I do. Do you resolve to guide the holy people of God in the way of salvation as a devoted father and sustain them with the help of your fellow ministers, the priests and deacons? I do. Do you resolve for the sake of the Lord's name to be welcoming and merciful to the poor, the strangers, and all who are in need? I do. Do you resolve as a good shepherd to seek out the sheep, to stray and gather them into the Lord's fold? I do. Do you resolve to pray without ceasing to Almighty God for the holy people and to carry out the office of high priest without reproach? I do, with the help of God. May God who has begun the good work in you, bring it to fulfillment. Dearly beloved, let us pray that the kindness of Almighty God in providing for the welfare of the Church will grant an abundance of His grace for this chosen one. Let us all kneel down.
Isaac of Nineveh, Saint Mark of Ica, Saint John the of the conception Saint Simon the Roa Saint Michael of the Sea Saint Roach Saint Daniel Comboni in Bakita Saint Alfonso Saint Lorenzo Child Jesus, Saint John Paul the Second, Blessed Anna Maria Taigi, Blessed Cano Rimora, all men and women saints of God. and resurrection by the outpouring of the Holy Spirit Protect your holy church. Keep the Pope and all the ordained in faithful service to your church. Bless this chosen man. Bless and sanctify this chosen man. Bless, sanctify, and consecrate this chosen man. You are priest forever. All peoples together 
in peace and true harmony. Comfort with your mercy. The troubled and the afflicted. Strengthen all of us. And keep us in your holy service. Jesus, Son of the living God. Graciously hear our petitions, O Lord, and pour out upon this, your servant, the power of your blessing flowing from the horn of priestly grace. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us all rise.
God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, Father of mercies and God of all consolation, who dwell on high and look upon the lowly, we know all things before they come to be, and who laid down observances in your church throughout the word of your grace, who from the beginning foreordained a nation of the just born of Abraham, who established rulers and priests and did not leave your sanctuary without ministers, and who from the foundation of the world were pleased to be glorified in those you have chosen. Pour out now upon this chosen one that power which is from you, the governing spirit, whom you gave to your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, the spirit whom he bestowed upon the, whole, the holy apostles who established the church in each place as your sanctuary for the glory and unceasing praise of your name. Grant our Father, knower of all hearts, that this your servant, whom you have chosen for the office of bishop, may shepherd your holy flock serving you night and day, may he fulfill before you without reproach the ministry of the high priesthood so that always gaining your favor, he may offer up the gifts of your holy church. Grant that by the power of the spirit of the high priesthood, he may have the power to forgive sins according to your command, assigned offices according to your decree, and lose every bond according to the power given by you to the apostles. May he please you by his meekness and purity of heart, presenting a fragrant offering to you, through your Son, Jesus Christ, through whom glory and power and honor are yours with the Holy Spirit in the Holy Church, now and forever and ever. Amen.
May God, who has made you a sharer of the high priesthood of Christ himself, pour out upon you the oil of mystical anointing and make you fruitful with an abundance of spiritual blessings. Receive the gospel and preach the word of God with all patience and sound teaching. Receive this ring, the seal of fidelity adorned with and defile faith, preserve and blemish the, the bride of God, the Holy Church. Receive the matter. And may the splendor of holiness shine forth in you so that when the chief shepherd appears, you may deserve to receive from him an unfading crown of glory. And now receive the cross here, the sign. Amen. 
the sign of your pastoral office and keep watch over the whole flock in which the Holy Spirit has placed you as bishop to govern the church of God. Cardinal Ayuso escorts Bishop Aldo to the cathedral. It is a symbol of being invested with the authority to teach and shepherd the Church of Avona. Once again, let us join our hands together as we welcome our newly ordained bishop. fraternal gesture of peace is extended to Bishop Aldo by the assembled bishops as a sign of welcome into the episcopacy.
I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, my Lord, who was conceived by the Father of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. The four candles represent the countries of Apostolic Vicariate of Northern Arabia, and the names of the parishes are written in the candles. One Taylor family of our Vicariate, on behalf of all the faithful, offer a chasuble to the newly ordained bishop.
We present that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our mighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. We pray, O Lord, that just our Saint Joseph serve with loving care your only begotten Son, born of the Virgin Mary, so we may be worthy to minister with a pure heart to, our, to your altar. To Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is to right and just our duty of salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and the commemoration of St. Joseph, to give you fitting praise, to glorify you and bless you. For this just man was given by you as a sponsor of the Virgin Mother of God and set as a wise and faithful servant in charge of your household to watch like a father over your only begotten son who was conceived by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, the poor tremble before you, heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the poor and walking of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy this gift we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith.
Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of this saving passion of your Son, his Ronsworth's resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant, we pray, that we who are nourished by the, whole, the body and blood of your Son and filled with this Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make us, make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, St. John of Mata, and with all the saints at whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all world. We please to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant, Pope Francis, and me, your unworthy servant, who have been ordained today as shepherd of your, for your church or the apostolic vicariate of Northern Arabia with the order of bishops, all the clergy, the Thai people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children, scatter it throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, especially Bishop Camilo Balin, give kind admissions to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. For him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. By the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of the Church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to the lasting life. Amen. Holy Communion is only for baptized Catholics who have received the sacrament of Holy Eucharist. Others, please remain seated.
Let us pray. Defend with unfailing protection, O Lord, we pray, the family you have nourished with food from this altar. As they rejoice in the solemnity of St. Joseph, and graciously keep safe your gifts among them. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. At this point, we will hear the greetings coming from the family of Bishop Aldo, followed by all the parish priests of Apostolic Vicariate of Northern Arabia, and lastly, four families representing the four countries of Avonia.
Now it is the time of the blessing of the people by the newly ordained bishop. Bishop Aldo will go around to give his blessings to each and every people inside the cathedral, in the facade, and in the balcony area of the cathedral. Let us all rise. Thank you. 
Brethren, before we proceed to the final and solemn blessing, he will address to us his very first speech as a bishop. Let us all welcome with gladness His Excellency, Bishop Aldo Berardi. Good afternoon. Anyway, all my speech will be on the website. You will find everything, inaugural message, uh, Thanksgiving, so I don't want to be longer in this celebration. But to start, I want to give my wishes to the, to the two bishops where we were consecrated this same day and tomorrow, 19th of uh, March, Bishop uh, uh, Cardinal Ayuso ordains his anniversary tomorrow, an anniversary of Archbishop Nergen. <laughs> so we thank them for coming. We have also some birthday. No way, Father Anthony. <laughs> yeah. So all Filipinos are required, required to say thank you to him and to go after Mass. Okay? <laughs> so may the Most Holy Trinity be blessed, praised and adored now forever. To young God, shine upon us and protect us. No, we are the children of the light. We have received grace upon grace and live by your love every day. Holy Trinity, unite us by the Spirit present in our heart. I thank the Trinity today for the beautiful celebration that brought together the church in Arabia, in the Arabian Peninsula. Clergy and faithful for the four countries of the Apostolic Vicariate, we praise the same Lord and acclaim the same God. Thank you for all the rites who joined this with a beautiful vestment. Anytime the bishop we celebrate, he wants you to be beautiful like this. Okay? And the Latin rite also, we have to improve our vestments, okay? <laughs> thank you for coming. We thank, I thank the Trinity for Pope Francis, Cardinal Miguel Ayuso, my brother, my brother's bishop, who have been chosen as bearer of light and blessing. So, Holy Trinity, bless the ministry surrounding them with your love. I, think, I thank the Trinity for my religious Trinitarian family, which for eight centuries has been faithful in its mission of redemption and which has shown to the poor and captive the tenderness of God and the joy of freedom. Quiero saludar las hermanas, las monjas que están guardando vía internet en las redes sociales, todas las monjas, las monjas de contemplativas de Guatemala, de Perú, de Honduras, de Chile, y de España. As the nuns who are following, they cannot go out of the monastery, so they are following online. So, saludos a todas las hermanas trinitarias, como si les sœurs trinitaires de Valence qui nous suivent par uh, internet y qui uh, son uh, en ligne aujourd'hui, je les salue. E le, le suore trinitarie di Roma che pregano per me e che stanno adesso vedendo questo video. I thank the Trinity for consecrated men and women. They give their life for the kingdom of heaven, preserve their purity and vocation. I thank the Holy Trinity for the brothers and sisters of different churches and ecclesial community who have wished to participate fraternally in this liturgy help us to find the way of to unity and sincerity and truth. Je remercie la Très Sainte Trinité pour ma famille. Nous sommes héritiers du long digné qui a donné des prêtres pendant quatre siècles et des hommes et des femmes de grande force. Aujourd'hui, ma famille, ma famille rend grâce à Dieu pour les bénédictions reçues au cours des siècles jusqu'à ce jour, qu'elles soient protégées ainsi que toutes les familles et en particulier les plus jeunes. I will try in Arabic now. 
الشكر الثلث الأقدس من أجل الشعب البحرين وجلال الملك أحمد بن عيسى آل الخليفة ومن أجل الصعب السامو الملكي الأمير سلمان بن أحمد آل الخليفة ولي ولي الأهدى ومن أجل الأكومة ومن جميع القادة المدنية والدينية عملا يعرف امتماءنا وتفنينا واحترامنا وتعاوننا بارك اللهم في شهوب جميع بلدا النيابة وحكومها وكداتها رب معكم My teacher will tell me if it was uh, understandable or not. <laughs> I thank the Holy Trinity for this gift of Episcopal consecration, ask for strength and courage to proclaim the gospel, to sanctify his people and to guide the sheep to this eternal home. I thank God for this beautiful cathedral, the fruit of the work of the faithful and of the collaboration of local authority. This is the mother church of all churches of the vicariate our home and fraternal dwelling. This cathedral manifests the beauty of God and the glory of the resurrection. I thank the Holy Trinity for Mary, our mother, and mother of Jesus. She's the star in the sea and the spiritual guide who leads us to Jesus Christ, Son of God, our Lord, who is the only way, the truth, and the life. Echoing the Blessed Mother's response at the Annunciation, today I said, let it be done to me according to your word. I ask the prayer intercession of the saints from the peninsula, St. Aretas of Najran, El Harith bin Kaab, where his companions, martyr, St. Isaac of Nineveh from Qatar, and the intercession of my holy founders, St. John de Mata and St. Félix de Valois. May the Holy Trinity be blessed, praise, and adore in all places forever. Amen. with you and with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. O God, who care for your people with gentleness and rule them in love, and though with the spirit of wisdom, those to whom you have ended an authority to govern, that from the flourishing of the holy flock may eternal joys for its shepherds. Amen. Amen. As in your majestic power, you allow the number of our days in the misery of our years, look favorably upon our humble service and confer on our time the abundance of your peace. Amen. Amen. Give a happy outcome to the tasks that through your grace you have laid upon me, whom you have raised to the rank of bishop. Make me pleasing to you in the fulfillment of my duties and so guide the hearts of people and pastor that the obedience of the flock may never fail the shepherd nor the care of the shepherd be lacking for the flock. Amen. Amen. May Almighty God bless you and Agath, who you are gathered here, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Now, before the final, I invite forward uh, Cardinal Ayuso 
and uh, the two co-current secretor, Archbishop uh, Nugent and Bishop uh, Paulinde, in presence of uh, Bishop Aldo to sign the act of the Episcopal, and Father Anthony Lopez, the Chancellor, on the altar. Bishop will now be photographed with the bishops first, then joining the priest, and after that all the altar servers. La famille de Monseigneur Aldo, la famille, the family, still with, with all the bishops, with all the bishops. Maintenant, l'évêque orthodoxe. Ok, merci. Les prêts trinitaires, les, les trinitaires, les trinitariens. Ok. 
only the Trinitarian Okay, thank you, merci. The altar servers. No, after all the priests, after the altar servers, because they have to move. All the altar servers. Okay, thank you, all the nuns, all the nuns, religious sisters, all religious sisters, the altar service, thank you. All the nuns and the readers.
this is the coffee, this is the coffee was the all the nuns for cardinal i will ask in each of all yeah all the nuns and the readers all the nuns and the readers the commentator for picture please Wait, the priest at the last moment. Okay, thank you, all the priests, all the priests of the vicariate or inviting priest, all the priests, tutti preti, tutti preti, tous les prêtres. Quiet, quiet. Quick, 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 quiet. Snacks. If we call, I have to call all the groups also, no? But be patient, be patient. Yeah, yeah, after yeah, the people, yeah, you know, right. after the people, they will pass me. Why they are serving me, they don't call them, you know? You, you, where is the people? Where is the party? I will not call you. you, you I will make you come. Because if I call you, I will to call all the people. Come here, come here. Yeah, Eucharistic ministers, please. Please move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No special photo. If they move, okay. If they can. Where is the sacristan? The Eucharistic ministers. Just make the picture, please. After greeting, make the picture, please. 
प्लीज मेक द पिक्चर सेंटारिता सेंटारिता सेंटारेता मूव 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 आस देम दे आगे ओके थैंक यू थैंक यू Santareta Thank you thank you The masters of the ceremonies and the altar servers they can come Altar servers who serve in the mass Where the altar servers who serve in the mass The altar servers who serve in the mass Sen Sentareta Okay thank you thank you Sentareta Santa Rita, Santa Rita. After Saint Aretha, the altar servers who served in the mass. Again, after Saint Aretha, the altar servers who served in the mass. Yes, <laughs> 